In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Private Internet Access VPN on your Amazon Fire TV stick. So the first thing we need to do is to get Private Internet Access VPN on our Fire TV stick. To do this, you want to make sure you're on the homepage, and then you want to scroll all the way across to the app drawer. From here, you want to load the application store. Once you've loaded the application store, it will look like this. So all we need to do now is scroll across to the search tab, and then you want to click on the search bar. And from here, we just want to search for Private Internet Access VPN. Once you've searched for private internet access, it should be the first result and it will look like this. So we want to click on the application page and from here it's going to tell you more about it. Once you're ready, you want to click on the get button in the middle of the screen and that will install the application. Once it is installed, you want to go ahead and open it up. Once the application is open, you'll be greeted with a login screen that looks like this. So you want to click on the login button in the middle of the screen and you want to go ahead and enter in your account details and log into your account. If you don't have a private internet access account, you can click on the link in the description below to register for Private Internet Access VPN. So once you've logged into Private Internet Access, you'll be taken to the homepage and it will look like this. The very first thing we need to do is to go to the settings icon in the right hand side menu. And from here, you want to click on protocol at the very top and you want to change this to the WireGuard protocol. This is going to be much more faster and reliable, which is what you want when you're browsing HD content. Once we've done this, we can go back to the homepage. So to use Private Internet Access VPN is very simple. As you can see on the left hand side menu, you've got your IP address and your VPN IP address when you connect to a server. You've also got a performance chart and you've also got a Maze ad blocker, which will block malware and ads from the internet. If you're using an internet browser on your Fire Stick, you'll also have access to your favorite VPN servers. And just below, you can either log out or view the settings that we just looked at. I can see you've got your protocol and other VPN settings at the very top. And you've also got network blocking, so all the devices on your network can't see the VPN device. And if we go below, we've got other general settings. So in this example, we want to watch the US version of Netflix so we can watch US TV shows. So to do this, we want to find a US server. And now we've found the US servers, there are multiple of them. So which one do we select? Well, you want to select the one with the lowest number, which is going to be the lowest latency and best performance. So in my case, it's going to be US Baltimore, which is near the top of the server list. Once we've found the Baltimore server, you want to click on it. And after a few seconds, your internet will now be connected to a US Baltimore server. So we are going to be browsing the internet as if we are from the US. So now we are connected to our US server, we can go back to the homepage and we can load our favorite streaming service of choice. In this case, we are going to use Netflix. Once Netflix has reloaded, you may notice the content hasn't refreshed that's because it doesn't recognize our new country. So to do this, you want to go to the left hand side menu and then you want to click on the get help menu at the very bottom. From here, it's going to tell you your country slash language. And as you can see, it still says GB. And that's because it still thinks I'm from Great Britain. So to reload Netflix, we want to scroll all the way down and you want to click on reload Netflix. And once Netflix has refreshed, you notice the content has changed. And that's because we are now viewing the US version of Netflix. So we can go ahead and pick a TV show and we can start watching US Netflix just as we normally would. And that's it. So to remember to click on the link in the description below to register for a private internet access VPN account. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass on someone who may find it helpful as well. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.